Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today we're talking chicken legs. Now I've got a new rack that I'm gonna be checking out today that's gonna to be actually hanging the chicken legs so they're suspended on the grill. It makes you from having to turn them, hopefully they're gonna cook real even. I've never used one of these, so this is a first for me too, but I wanted to shoot a video, show you how it works, kind of tell you what I think about it. I found this at just a local butcher shop. I'm sure you can find them at any barbecue store or supply store sporting goods that sells barbecue stuff. It wasn't very expensive, maybe like 10, 11 bucks. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna to do to these chicken legs is just get a good basic coat of uh, salt and pepper and garlic on them. I'm using my AP rub, but you can use, you can make the mixture up yourself if you'd like. But I wanna get some on all sides. Get some salt on it, get some pepper on it, a few other herbs in there. Then we're gonna come back with our barbecue rub. We're just going on all sides. Make sure you get the ends. Then we're just gonna hang them in this vertical rack. And they're kind of close together so the so it holds the bones and it'll suspend it right there even as it cooks so i'm doing the same thing to the rest of these legs first get a good dose of that salt pepper and garlic all purpose on it great flavors for chicken that's what everybody's familiar with then we're layering that barbecue rub on it because we want we want some of those uh barbecue flavors but it also adds a little bit of sweetness because that rub the rub we have has a little bit of sugar in it as well to balance out some of the salt some of the peppers that's in it so now I'll come back and let's hit them with the rub anytime you're working with chicken you want to be real careful about the food safety handling you want to wash everything don't prep it on boards that you're going to be cutting food on later you want to make sure you wash your hands and everything that chicken's touched. So now we just got to get these legs hanging. This rack's designed to hold about 12 legs. The pack that I'm cooking had just 10 in it, so that's all we're going with here today. Left the skin on, didn't do anything special to them. Just seasoning, and we're going to go outside, get our grill fired up. Kind of space them out even. I'll put one on that end and then one back on this end. So we got them kind of even here. So this is what they look like hanging on this chicken rack. Now if you don't have one of these racks, it's okay just to cook these straight on the grate, but I'm really just testing this out. I want to see how they cook vertical, see if they stay juicy. Uh, see what that moisture content's like at the end. And it's gonna let smoke get all around them while they're hanging there cooking. Got to go outside, get the big green egg fired up. We'll show you putting them on in just a second. Stick around, it's gonna be good eats. All right, we're out here at my big green egg and we're gonna to cook today about 275 to 300 degrees on the egg. So I've got it set up with my deflector shield and I'm just gonna center this rack of chicken legs right up in the middle of it. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of grill you're cooking on, you just wanna hold that temps at 275 to 300. We're gonna close the lid on the egg. Got just a little bit of smoke rolling here, some pecan wood to put a couple small chunks right on the lump charcoal. Gonna create a nice little smoky environment, get the lid closed, and we're just gonna watch these legs about 30 minutes, see how they're doing. Uh, it's gonna probably take about an hour, hour and a half for them total. We're gonna show you a little uh, glaze. We're gonna mix up with some barbecue sauce and we're gonna dip these legs in it, finish them off, hang them back on the rack. So stick around. Show you how these chicken legs cook hanging vertical. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna take a peek at these chicken legs and see how we're looking. Coming right along, I'm starting to get some really good color on them. Dripping a little, you see where it's hit the pan down there? That's what I wanna see, but I know they got longer to go, so we're at least another 30 minutes and we'll think about probing them. We're wanting to take these to at least 175 degrees internal, which is safe for dark meat chicken, so. Get the leg closed, keep letting them smoke. All right, our chicken legs are outside smoking on the grill and it's almost time to start glazing them. So I wanna show you what I'm gonna to use today. And I've just got a, a bottle of barbecue sauce. This happens to be my barbecue sauce, but use whatever kind of sauce you like. But you wanna get it thinned down a little bit. And what I'm using is just about two ounces of pineapple juice. This is a six ounce can, so I'll just pour you know, about a third of it in there. And then just give it mixed, mixed around. 
And I'm gonna pop it in the microwave just for a few minutes because I don't want to put it on cold. I want it to, you know, the sauce to be warm so it's nice and runny. When I dip these chicken legs in it, the majority of it's gonna run off, but it's gonna leave a nice glaze on them and then we're gonna hang them back on the rack and let them finish where that glaze tightens up a little bit. It's gonna give some awesome flavor to those legs. So we get the sauce heated up, then we're gonna meet you outside at the grill to show you how we're gonna finish these chicken legs. All right, so I wanna check the temperature on a couple of these legs. They've been on for about an hour and 10 minutes. But I just wanna see, we're like right at 168. I know these smaller ones are gonna be a little hotter. Yeah, 172. It's time to go ahead and glaze them. They're right where I want them. They got great color. Skin's starting to really draw back on some of them. So that's, I wanna stop them and I wanna just get some glaze on them and set that glaze. So I heated up the sauce mixture we made. And I'm just gonna take them right off the rack dunk them in that sauce, hang them right back up. I really like the way this chicken rack's working because if you're doing legs, man, it's low maintenance. I mean, I could have got two of these racks on here, easy on this grill, it doesn't take up much space. And I could have cooked 24 legs on two racks. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Plus the skin looks awesome. I can see why some of the guys out there would wanna you know, use a leg rack like this in competition cooking. I've seen people do it. Now I understand why. It's quick, you can glaze right here at the grill. Just get a little sauce up on that bone in. Hang it right back in its spot. Beautiful color. We only need, you know, 10 minutes left at 300 degrees and these dudes are gonna be ready to come off. Let's get the lid closed. Let these legs glaze just about 10 minutes. They're gonna be ready to eat, man. All right, it's been about 10 minutes of glazing, so I know these chicken legs are done. So we're gonna take a look at them, and I know it's time to get them inside, man. It, the way the glaze is just kind of melted and caramelized on, they got the beautiful color. And that's what we wanna see when we're talking chicken legs. Man, I can't wait to try one of these. It's beautiful. Let's take them inside, let them hang out. I'm just gonna carry the racking all in. If you're gonna do this, uh, I, I suggest wearing a pair of glove liners and some gloves to keep that rack from burning your hands. I know it's hot, but. All right, we're back inside. I've got the chicken legs out and I let them rest for about 10 minutes when I first brought them in. I mean, they're so hot, just like anything. I mean, you gotta let it sit there and rest a few minutes. I didn't lose too much juice or anything, you can see. So it's all should be nice and moist and juicy on the inside. Now I feel confident I can grab one and go ahead and take a bite. So without further ado, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get one off this backside here. Mm. Man, I got it all over me, I know. That's sticky, juicy, smoky. Hey, that ain't how to barbecue right. I don't wanna know how to barbecue wrong. Hang that boo back up there. But that's what I call chicken off the rack right there. Look, let's talk about what we did today. We took just a regular pack of chicken legs from the grocery store, seasoned them with that AP seasoning, salt, pepper, and garlic on all sides. Then we layered on some more barbecue rub all on the outside. We didn't brine them, we didn't do any of that. We just hung them on the racks and took them out to the ceramic grill. And I cooked them on the big green egg it ran between 275 and right under 300 the whole time. Total cook time was only about an hour and 15 minutes, plus I glazed them for an additional 10. So it's really quick. Had a couple pieces of pecan wood on the fire to give it some smoke. Really put some nice flavor in the chicken leg. When they were done, when I was seeing temps, you know, 170, 172, I wanted to get them in a glaze and that's what finished them off here. And when they glazed, I just took some barbecue sauce about 18 ounce bottle and then two ounces of pineapple juice, mixed it up, heated it up in the microwave so it was nice and warm and would run when I dipped the legs in it. Let them go to that additional 10 minutes and then brought them in and rested them for about 10 minutes and that's it. Simple as it can be, but these are some awesome chicken legs. If you can't get the rack, you can do this just straight on the grate. It'll work the same with those times and temps. But hey, check these racks out if you see one at your uh, local sporting goods store. I think the brand on it was Bayou Classics. I'm not really positive on that because I threw it away when I first bought it. 
Um, you should be able to find them on Amazon or somewhere. Um, just look for a chicken leg rack. Thanks for checking out the video today, How to Barbecue Right. Subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out more videos all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.